Amstray reading of a person whose age is approximately 32. We'll be reading his hand. Uh, his date of birth basically adds up to six. So six is the number of Venus. Venus is an important mount in this particular person's case. Uh, and uh, this particular mount, Venus, is basically the area of love, beauty, art, music, creativity, and uh, the energy levels. Basically, the energy levels come from this particular area. The desires come from the area of Venus. So this area is a very, very important area. Whenever we are looking for success, we basically first take a look at this particular area of Venus. If Venus is prominent, by prominent we mean it is well padded. This area appears to be well padded, reasonably well padded. Uh, well padded area basically signifies huge amount of desires and a person who basically has huge amount of desires and the person who doesn't get basically uh, tired, the chances for success increase. This does not mean that if a person has got a prominent amount of Venus, 100% the person is going to be successful. The person might be unsuccessful 10 times, 20 times, but still because the person has got energies, that's the reason why the person is going to retry even in spite of failure because of the high energy levels and stamina. Uh, Venus is also the area, Venus is a basically a very warm planet. Warm planet basically signifies that these people are extremely warm towards everybody. It could be their loved ones, it could be their near and dear ones or people even from outside. So such people basically attract people. These people attract partnerships and relationships. So both these things come to these people very easily. So. Uh, because of a well padded area of Venus, all these qualities that I've already talked about are there in a positive way. Now we look at another important point out here and uh, that is basically the area of, uh, that is uh, the headline and the lifeline. You would notice both these lines are joined together at the right start for a long duration of time. Normally what happens is that there's a gap between these two lines. Few people have a gap and sometimes what happens is that this is the lifeline and they are barely touching each other. They are touching but they are barely touching each other. So when both these lines are joined together for a long duration of time, it signifies that the person is cautious, shy, hardworking and contemplating. And these people would get success in the later period of their life. So this is the first aspect. And the later period could be around after the age of 35 or after the age of uh, after the age of uh, 44. That's the approximate. One more thing I need to add out here on the headline. Uh, this is the headline. You would notice a small line out here that is pointing downward towards the base of the mount. The intersection of the headline. Sorry, this is the money line, and the headline. This intersection is age. Uh, this age is approximately 35. So just before the age of 35, this is where a small branch is pointing towards the mount of moon. Uh, downward branches are considered to be bad. Upward, if there was an upper, upper branch towards the finger, there was, those would have been considered to be good. So downward branches could mean disappointments. And this thing is uh, somewhere where the person is traveling. Like now, the, these days, the, the, uh, the age is approximately of disappointment is somewhere ne very nearby. Or it might have passed or it might be really close. So it might be something like that. Now we take a look at the heart line. This is the heart line. The heart line basically has got few branches over it. You would notice branches over the heart line are not considered to be good. Again, they are pointing a little bit downwards. These branches basically signify that the person is not able to 100% dedicate themselves. They can't 100% dedicate themselves to a particular cause or a relationship. So uh, this is a wrong thing and you, you have to commit yourself to uh, something or the other. You have to offer your life to something or the other, either to a relationship or to a particular cause. So that's when maximum success basically comes. 
people who do have these branches it means flirting with your job or flirting with your work anything it could be that it could also mean that the person uh, gets distracted see these branches they are hanging downward so it means getting distracted losing your focus that's what it basically means a simple line would have been much much better and th that would signify much more success but the good part about the line is that the uh, the line of heart is kind of pointing towards the mount of saturn saturn is the mount for responsibility money management and these people generally attract money towards them so that's the positive aspects and these people value money and they basically attract money towards them uh, regarding uh, the sun line the sun line is basically the career line this is the initial part of the sun line uh, and it changes direction somewhere at the age of 35 so this portion is before the age of 35 and then it points more towards the sun mount so when the sun line moves towards the sun mount that's when the maximum results basically come so there could be a marked change in one's work somewhere from the age of 35 it could be directional only it doesn't mean that the person completely changes their work it could be directional work and uh, that uh, and after the age of 35 things may become better but at the same time if you notice that if, if i'm zooming in you would notice that the line of sun is not extremely deep and clear it's not something like the straight line that you see out there very deep and clear so when the line of sun is not very deep and clear it's somewhere in the middle it's uh, it's medium level so what happens is consider a situation of uh, deep clouds light cloud no clouds deep clouds is a situation where we cannot see the line at all that's a time of extreme doubts but th the line is somewhere in the middle so we would say medium clouds so medium clouds is a situation where sometimes there are clouds in the sky and sometimes there are, there are no clouds when there are no clouds more success and when there are clouds that's when less success comes less success comes because the person is doubting deep clouds means you are unable to find your path but a light uh, a comparatively better line would mean that the person knows their path but sometimes that uh, some amount of doubt may creep in so this is what it signifies by a lighter line you would notice the line becomes much more deeper and clearer after the age of 53 this portion is after the age of 53 above the heart and this is the heart line above the heart line and below the finger this, this is the finger so below this is the finger so this portion of the line is after the age of 53 there are not one line but two or three lines see it doesn't mean that three lines is better than one uh, even one line is good enough but uh, two or three lines mean two or the three different uh, field of work the person might uh, dabble into and the person might be working open two or three different fields so it's better to have single instead of multiple because in multiple you have to basically somehow uh, put your energies into two three different works uh, and uh, when you're competing with the top-notch people that's where uh, uh, if they are concentrating only on work and work so they are likely to be much more successful because they have been concentrated and giving their offering their life to a single cause that is much better now regarding the mercury line the mercury line is a little bit dim out here uh, so dim lines uh, are okay okay if it was a deeper line i would say uh, that it would have been much better deeper lines means that the person is kind of uh, uh, sharpening their skills a not so deep line would mean that the person needs to sharpen their skills much further and the person has the skills but they are not sharpening it too much the good part is that the line there are few lines out here it's always better to have few lines over any particular amount because fewer lines means that the area where these uh, few lines are that area is going to function in a much better way. This is the area of your memory. This is the area of your knowledge. This is basically the area of uh, your skills. So if there are less lines over it, the chances are these are going to function in a much better way. The person may remember things much better. People who have got crisscrossing lines out here, that means that too much, there would be overworking of that particular area. And because the area is overworking, 
that's a reason why it's not going to function in the best possible way so less lines is always good uh, uh, the but the good uh, but if these lines were deeper i would have considered it to be a much better sign to have now uh, you would also notice these uh, th there are few breaks in these lines as well out here this is these are also the mercury lines uh, it is always better to have simple single line instead of uh, these breaks uh, these are also called the health line the liver line all these kind of lines so liver functioning needs to be uh, tested like uh, you need to basically work upon uh, like uh, better health and better eating habits so that things become better now one more thing i need to add out here is that this is the money line and uh, you would notice a parallel line is developing somewhere at the age of 33 34 but that's vanishing and then again it's starting from the age of 39 and it continues till the age of let's say 53 uh, approximately beyond the age of 53 you would notice that few new lines basically develop these are the lines beyond the age of 53 so there are few breaks out here breaks are okay but a uh, simple line would have been better breaks means the person might uh, keep on changing few work after the age of 53 so there could be multiple field of work the person might choose on and uh, as such the uh, i've already talked about the venus mount the area of energy stamina this area is the area of mars negative this is just the name um, negative is not anything negative out here but negative Mars is the area of anger, aggression, and fire. Because this area does doesn't have too many lines, it is it functions in the best possible way. That means the aggression is not wrongly targeted. It means that the aggression is targeted in the in the best possible way, and the anger is not going to come out just because uh, the uh, some people want to show other people down. The, their anger is going to be well targeted, and that's the reason why the person would be more successful. It does appear that the person has got few upward lines over the uh, on the line of life. It basically these are the lines of luck. Few people call the line of sun to be the line of luck. I don't call this this to be the line of luck. I just call it as the line of how much energies we can give to our work. Lighter lines means that the person is not energizing their work enough. Some people also call them as the name and fame line. Yes, I do agree, but at the same time not fully agree it's all about and uh, it's not a sunline is not just about luck it is all about how much energies the person is giving to their work so uh, as such the hand is very healthy healthy hands are considered to be good when the bones are nice and strong and uh, it's well padded so well padded areas and well padded fingers basically signify richness richness in not just in money terms but also richness in content people who are rich in content they basically are able to somehow get money mm -hmm. from somewhere or the other so it's a it's a beautiful sign to have left hand and right hand uh, show lots of similarity just one addition out here is that these upper lines uh, are, are already seen but in this particular hand what we see extra is that this is the lifeline and there's a, another supporting lifeline that we see uh, this is basically the line of Mars and uh, this is because this is starting on the area of amount of Mars the area of anger ag aggression and fire this is a very very significant line uh, it basically is the line for uh, the fighting spirit within that particular person so this line basically protects the person this is like a armor around this particular person that protects him from difficult people difficult situations and somehow they come out as winners basically so that's it for here thanks for watching bye and take care